Alright, well, this isn't gonna be the most, like, this isn't gonna be the most professional video I've ever made, but I am going to edit this myself. I'm gonna do everything I can to make this as good as I can be, I guess. As it, as it can be. It's gonna be a lot of stuttering for me, but you know what? I don't- it doesn't really matter because all I can say is thank y'all so much for 100 subscribers, but now actually we do have 128. Which is kind of a lot faster than I expected to hit all any of this. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna be checking on OBS a lot. I'm actually gonna move it back here. That'll work. So, um, yeah, I just- I'm so happy that we hit 100 subscribers so fast. I gotta admit, I really think a lot of it was because of Luke's shoutout, which I still cannot thank him enough. I gotta shout out, I gotta thank certain people this. Obviously, it's gonna be Luke Pixel. We also gotta thank Spoonman. Uh, Quazy somewhere around here. Uh, Qu yeah, Quazy's right here. And there's also Ray, but he didn't comment, but that's fine. I, I gotta thank all of them, and also gotta thank XZ, but he didn't see the video either, so that's okay. Anyways, let's get on with this Q&A. Alright, so the first thing we got, what is your favorite level of all time? Now, you see, this is kind of a question that I do get a lot, and it's kind of a weird answer. I mean, obviously, if you've been watching me for a while, you're gonna know, or been coming to my streams, I love Big Boom. That is probably my favorite level of all time, just because of the deco being absolutely incredible. And the gameplay is the best gameplay I've ever had in any level. But if I had to choose a level off of looks rather than gameplay, it would be the Eschaton. Uh, what are some future levels I'm going to beat? So right now I am working working on Ice Carbon Diablo X. I happened to get 47% today, but I wasn't recording. So look forward to that. But I also plan to do um, both old and new Cataclysm. I want to do Cyclone by Bionox and At Marble 2 by uh, Pinuto. Uh, but if we're really looking into the future, I would really like to beat Belloc, uh, Freedom 08, a lot of Pinuto levels, obviously. Uh, but then Bloodbath, and maybe, 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 if we get up there, I, I would genuinely like to beat, um, what's it called? I'm trying to think of it, Cognition, definitely Cognition, Crimson Planet, and maybe, maybe I'll do Bloodlust, but I don't know. Also, you're gonna make, try to make a feature worthy level. Well, I mean, I'm not good at all with, um, like, at all. I cannot do decoration to save my life, so I can make good gameplay. I personally think that, but, uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure about that. Um, stop punching a hole through the air. It has feelings, too. Stream reference. I like it. What's it like to get rated? Okay, Luke, funny. <laughs> It, uh, it feels absolutely incredible. Uh, we got, you know, a lot from him. Yeah, it feels absolutely incredible. Like, the feeling that I got whenever I got rated that one time, just, it's, it was absolutely stunning. Uh, I was so happy, and, like, thanks to you, my channel has blown up a lot more than I ever thought it would be, so thank you, man. What's your favorite food? Ooh, that's a hard one. It would probably have to be funnel cake, which is, like, a churro, or, like, I don't know, a beignet. Right, okay, now you can really see where I'm from. It's basically a beignet sandwich. If you don't know what it is, it's basically like a little piece of bread with a bunch of powdered sugar on it. It's so good. And it's like a cake of that. It's really good. My favorite type of music and some of my favorite songs. Okay, I really like electronic music, but some of my favorite songs now are actually from Eden, the guy who made the XO song. Now, genuinely, he makes some really good music, so I think it's really good. Well, that was wonderful. My brother just walked in and interrupted me, and I don't know how the heck I'm gonna cut that out. Not so great. Uh, where was that? My favorite type of music. There was this guy called Eden that I really, really liked. He, uh, the guy who wrote XO. Yeah, he makes some really good, good music. My favorite from him is Circles. It's really good. If I could have one superpower, what would it be? It would be super speed. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, just because I like to, I have to do everything fast. What's your favorite movie of all time? Mm -hmm, I don't know. Uh, I think It Chapter 1, or It Chapter 2, I really enjoy horror movies, those are probably the movies that I enjoyed, I really enjoy those movies, uh, will you beat my BFF? Absolutely, and uh, I know this one had a lot, yeah, we have quite a bit here, we got, do you like cats or dogs? I like dogs better, personally, because I don't have a good history with cats, GD or Osu, I actually haven't played Osu at all, and I don't imagine I'd be good at it, so personally, I would like Geometry Dash, because I do have some skill at that. 1.9 or 2.1? 2 
personally, I would like 2.1 better because I think that the community is a lot bigger and better than it was back then. And some of the drama that happened back then was a lot more petty, I guess. Because there was that... Oh, sorry. There was that whole serve deal. Where, like he said, where, um, what? Krazar said, get Rex serve, and that was a whole thing, right? And personally, I don't... I just like it better this way. Favorite video game of all time. Okay. Favorite video game of all time. This is kind of hard. Probably Subnautica. I really like Subnautica. Uh, but I also like Depth. A lot of underwater underwater horror games are a lot of fun. I even like Soma. But yeah, those are my favorite. You want to have a Sprite Cranberry? Absolutely. I would love that. Favorite G GD level? I've already answered this. It has Big Boom. But if I had to do it from a uh, decoration perspective, it would in fact be the Eschaton. But yes, if, if the Acropolis is also quite up there, that was, that's an amazing level. <laughs> Chester Aeon. You see, that's a hard question. I don't understand why I can't just have both, because I love them both. They're both hilarious to watch. Like, they are some freaking amazing people to watch. Personally, I do I have been watching Chester for longer, so if I had to, I would say him. Um, I just realized I have, I have had OBS open the entire time, but this ain't going to be the most like high effort thing I'm going to do. Um, let's see. Want to be my friend? Sure. Absolutely, Spearman. I would definitely be your friend. What did you do to become a good GD player? What levels did you do to practice? Okay, so first thing, obviously, I can I can make a whole 45 minute video on this, but I'm just gonna stick with what I think works. Beat all the Rob Top levels, get all the coins. That's the main thing. Then you wanna slowly work your way up with the easy demons. So like, for me, I got stuck on the easy demons for a really long time. I beat like 20 easy demons over the course of a year, and I didn't beat my first medium demon until like a year after I, I beat my first demon. So you gotta constantly pressure yourself, like to push yourself to do better, which is why I jumped from Quest for Perfection to Ice Carbon Diablo X, because I wanna keep uh, pushing myself to do better in this game. Which is how I'm able to get so much skill, I guess. And how I've grown so much. Because, like, it hadn't even been a year since I beat Theory of Everything 2 version 2. And I've already beaten an extreme demon. So, you know. Uh, you gotta constantly push yourself to do these things. Uh, I'd say do about, like, five of each. Depending on your skill. Like, for me, I beat, I think it was seven medium demons before I did my first hard demon. Then I beat, like, six hard demons. Then I beat five insane, and that's just com completely coincidental. It, it's whatever you feel like you're ready, and whenever you want to move up, do an easier one. Like do an easy insane demon. Uh, you see, I chose supersonic because that was rated as a hard demon back then, and that was a mistake because I did 8,000 attempts on that level. I loved the level, but it took a lot longer than expected because partially it's not my fault because it was set a hard demon, but that's harder than like most of the things I've beaten. That's still my third hardest demon to date. So, gotta make sure you're doing an easier insane demon. I would recommend the Furious or Windy Landscape. Those are some two really easy insane demons. Uh, thank you, Gauzy, for the A. What is my dream place to go travel? You see, I really, I just like going everywhere. I mean, but if I really had to choose a place, it would be Alaska. Because I've been there before and it was one of the greatest vacations I've ever taken. How long has it been since you've known GD? <clears throat> Now you see, I've been in this game since, I think, uh, it was before Hexagon Force, uh, 1.7, but I was never, like, a part of the community, you know? I never, like, I never wanted to, like, be so deeply invested into this game where I wanted to be in the community. I completely, like, I don't know, I was just playing the game and I beat up to, I beat up to of everything before I stopped until uh, story in 2017 which I believe someone asked before uh, so I'm gonna have to answer that later but the first demon I beat was club step uh, yeah oh wait I read that one way down here I read that I skipped it over um if I get this wrong I have to come back and answer this later but I think I'm gonna do that at the end because that is a big story a really long story uh, do you have any pets? I actually do. I have a dog, and my sister has a hedgehog and a fish. And um, we've had several dogs in the past, but none of them we none of them have died on us. But we just we had we had to get more for certain reasons. First demon I beat was Club Sip. I've already answered that. Do you ship a bully and big? If you do, why? Yes, I do because last night's stream was absolutely hilarious. 
Do you drink potatoes? Every day and night, baby. All right. Um, ah, we're getting close to the end. When did you start playing GD? Yep, I knew this question was here. All right, so it's a really long story. So I remember the exact date. December 28th, 2017 was whenever I said I officially joined the Jump Chadash community because I actually went through surgery on that day and I got my tonsils removed. And the older you get, the worse that surgery is, you know? And it was really bad. I was, I was stuck on a couch for two weeks. Like the first four days, I don't even remember because I was sleeping and just in so much pain. And so I still have my old laptop. I, ha I barely had it for like a year or like two years or something. And it was still really good. And so I randomly decided to start playing GD because I had been there for the 2.1 update. I had always been playing the game. I just never like went seriously into it. I had maybe like 20 hours on it. And then I just began playing it and eventually I beat um, Electrodynamics and uh, Clutterfunk. And I'm like, wow, okay, this is actually really enjoyable to beat. And so I just randomly began playing. And then after that, I began like getting into the community and began just grinding on GD trying to get stuff. And eventually I just found myself in the community and I think another big thing I was there for thank lord was bloodlust verification I specifically remember being in my room scrolling through my iPad and I see bloodlust and I'd never heard of the level before Think of how crazy that is because that is a huge level that level is absolutely like It's such a big controversial level and it's, it's a good thing and I'd seen it and I'm like what is this? So yeah, I guess that's kind of another thing What is that extreme demon you want to beat in the future? Uh, I've already mentioned this before, I'm mentioning it again. I would really like to beat Belloc. I would love to beat Belloc. That is my ultimate achievement. But if I'm not worn out by the game by then, I don't know when I'm going to quit the GD. F quit quit GD. That's one thing that I, I don't know when. I could quit in a few weeks. I could quit in a few years. I really don't know when I'm going to quit. But I do plan to beat Belloc before I quit. My hardest demon is what I beat last night, Temple of Destiny. It's, it's my first extreme demon, but hopefully soon it's going to be Ice Carbon Diablo X. Where am I from? I am from the United States of America in Louisiana, but I'm not going to specify anymore. Uh, do I have Discord? Yes, I do. I use it to call my friends. And um, if actually I could reply here, it's like SolusGD hashtag 1774. Or it's just soulless, actually. Either one. It's something like that. But I'll have to check up on that later, and I can probably leave it in the comments. Alright, so, yeah, I think that was it. Thank you all for your uh, submissions into this little video I decided to make. Kind of a last-minute thing, I know. But I'm really happy that I finally am able to do one of these. It's like, it's always been kind of a dream mind to do a Q&A with people who actually are curious about these things. It's, it's really, really cool to have, like, a little community now, and I can't thank Luke enough for that. Like, now I actually have a community. I never was in it for, like, the fame or the, uh, like, the fame or just, like, being famous. Like, having people walk up to me on the street like, hey, are you soulless? I mean, obviously, that's never going to happen because, I, I don't know, it's, it's probably not going to happen. Because um, I don't plan to reveal my face so people don't know what I'm going to look at, look like. But like now, like even a hundred, only 128 subs, which is still a big number. And I have a community, like a lot of these people who left comments have actually been to a few of my streams. And I can't thank these people enough who actually stuck with me for the few, the month that it's been. Almost, it's been almost a month since the original shout out. And my channel has just exploded. And it's insane to have something like this. Maybe we could hit 200 subs, maybe. I don't think we're gonna hit it anytime soon, but I cannot thank y'all enough for like what y'all have done for me and how my channel has gotten so big. It, it just means so much to me. It's so cool to have something like this. Anyways, uh, thank y'all for tuning in to the Q&A. Uh, I hope this time it recorded because last time it didn't record. And uh, yeah, thanks, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being a part of the channel. And hey, let's try for suit 200 subs, y'all. Thank you all so much.